Kelly Bannon is our guest live. I actually had to convince the ladies to let me come in without my wristband how, on. How did you do that? I was like, y'all, I, I, I'm not wearing that on stage. Well, what did you say before that? <laughs> Y'all? Y'all. Y'all. The Y apostrophe A L L. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We should have Kelly Bannon spelling bee. Well, um, mm. see, since I haven't had any cocktails today, I should be able to spell my own name at least. How do you pronounce S P O I L E D? S P O I L E D. How do you pronounce that word? Spoiled. Okay, good. Because mm -hmm. I've heard so many. Where are you from? Uh huh. Where are you from? Um, Nashville. Okay, so I've heard so many people from the South say okay. spoiled. Spold. Spold. Is that a regional know. thing down south? You know, I don't know if that's, that might be Georgia. Is that? Okay. All right. Should we start, we should start a border battle. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, Georgia that would Spold be good. This, it might know? be. So you played an amazing country fest set. Not so long oh, ago. Oh, I loved that show. That was, it was dusty. But was, that was the only was, thing was a, that wasn't perfect about it. It was so awesome. Much like stage. It's a lot like that. When actually. you leave the sa the uh, Lakeside Rodeo grounds after a KSO and Country Fest, you need about three or four showers. <laughs> but, but you know what? You're washing away fun memories. Where was the most fun place you found sand after that? Oh man! <laughs> you see, and I've got I've got a lot more dust. real estate than you do. <laughs> no, so I, I think probably four or five showers. Oh. How have you been lately? Talk about what's um, going on new with you. I'm great. Um, we're really excited about the single. It's called Famous. And it's been really amazing to see kind of how fans are connecting with it. And especially live, I think, when they don't even know it, you know, to see them. Like, that was, I think, when we knew that it would be the next single. So I was opening for Luke Bryan last summer, and we just cut it. And it was like, you know, I'm talking to my manager before the show. Like, well, should we try it out? I don't know. Okay, okay, well, let's do it. And halfway through the first chorus, we were in Maryland. And the audience... Like, the people that I could see right up close to me were trying to sing along to the chorus, Every and they'd never it. heard it. Like, we were halfway through the first chorus, and it was like they thought that they knew it, and I got off stage, and she was like, did you see that? Yeah. And it was just, that was amazing. Sure, and obviously an early message that whatever that was coming out was yeah. really making, making an impact. Or like, like that it was, you know, just like catchy enough, and, yeah. you know, as a new artist, you're just, you want to connect so much with the fan in order to, I mean, I think you just really, you have to in order to break through. It has to be memorable, but it has to be sort of like, like we call, you know, songs one listen hits mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like when you hear it once and you, you know, you know how you're reacting to sure. it, you know, and so I hope that's what this ends up being. I don't know, obviously, but um, it's been really awesome. So thank you guys for letting me talk about it. You're welcome. Yeah. We're with Kelly Bannon live from Stagecoach in the KSON Deep Eddie Vodka Studio. This is the Deep Eddie Vodka Studio. So if you feel like throwing down and getting a so little crazy. So that's why it was vodka. So right before we yeah. started the interview, you were like, well, do you want a cocktail? Because you know I do I do love me a cocktail. I feel, well, be, and because you, you have a, a job where sometimes it's... It, to talk to people like me, really? Oh, stop and you have, it. And, oh, oh stop. my gosh. Please, please. Are and we then you doing have to that? Go, then you have to go from trailer to trailer to talk to more loud mouths. So that, that's a drinkable mission. Oh my gosh. As as no, I'm actually concerned. today it was only like, I think it was only like six interviews. It, it oh, was, really? That's yeah, a light it, day it was, for you? Yeah. So talk to me about what you're taking from artists like Luke Bryan who you're opening up for. I mean, obviously you're, 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 you're putting that in the mental ball. That is such and, a good question. Yeah. Um, thanks for asking that. You're I welcome. So every time I get to open for Luke, and I've maybe only done it like six, five or six times, um, I sit front of house and watch the entire show. Front of house is where the sound engineers are sitting. Mm -hmm. It's usually on the floor, but it's usually back a ways. You guys can see it. It's like where all the big boards are. Sure. And um, it's usually kind of ripped off. But I just sit there and I just watch because I'm like, even if I know the show, and I know that show pretty well, but like you can always learn something. And you know, Luke and I, we are friends, but our, our music isn't super similar, obviously. But I think anyone can learn from the way that he connects with fans the energy that he brings on stage. And I would say that's the easiest crowd I play for all year is Luke Bryan fans. Like, they come ready to party. And I kind of think stagecoach fans are going to be like that. Oh, yeah, um, a lot. Right you know, like, it's just like, insert fun here. Like, they're just ready to go. And what's got to be really comforting and kind of a uh, cool vibe to get from Luke is that Luke's success in no way came overnight. Yeah. He worked super, super hard. I mean, this is something that you can also look at and say, I want to, you know, compare Luke or whoever. No, I, actually, I do. I mean, I really do admire him, and he's given me some really sweet advice over the years. He gives me funny, kind of probably inappropriate, hilarious advice. Luke you guys know Ryan, him. Inappropriate. You know no. how funny he is. But you know, he he actually heard a couple of the songs before we cut them, and was one of them is called Church Clothes, mm -hmm. and it's actually sort of like a sad song about this couple that's they might they might break up they might have go through a divorce but they're going to church and they're in their church clothes and it all looks perfect and he when he heard this song our manager um, played it for him and he called me immediately and was like that you have to cut that right now and I, so I appreciate like 
he's his career's built. It's all about songs. Our songs are not the same, you know. But sure. it's all, and I think that's great. Our artists, Eric Church, who's headlining tonight, same story. Like it's about great songs. It's about consistently bringing it all on. You know, he'll say, Eric. I mean, I haven't seen his show probably in a year, but <laughs> but um, I'm excited to see it tonight. Yeah. But he usually says something like, "We're gonna empty the tank tonight," you know. And he's asking that of his audience. And he's doing it too. Like and he means he's it. gonna spin it all out there. There's nothing as you know. Yeah, it's he's leaving it all in the field, and I love that. I want one more question before yeah. we leave, uh, Kelly Ben. And we are in the desert. It is a hot yes. Friday afternoon. You look like Kelly Ben. There's no, I look like I just liar. got off work at the car wash. You are, How, how's that possible? No, you don't. I'm looking at him, ladies and gentlemen. No, and he please. Just, no, he's, no, no. His hair is coiffed. No. He looks is it good. Coiffed? Yeah, it looks good. Well, I, I go to a guy in the city. You know. <laughs> Actually, we had this really hard time getting here today, like yeah, yeah. Get, finding where and like there wasn't, you know, I'm not in a big tour bus. My band flew here, you know, and so there wasn't, I think if you roll up in a tour bus, people just like move out of your way and they're yeah. like, go here, you know, when you're like rolling up in a rental car, they're like, who are you? Where are you trying to go? Sure, you're playing um, here. Exactly. Wait in line, So it Kelly. actually took us forever to find, yeah. like even get in and I'm like carrying my guitar flight case and my suitcase and... So I do actually need. You're kind to say that, but I need to go. I'm like I need to do a little touch up. Are you so always you're, you're feeling this is your A game right now? I mean I haven't. I, I need to go to the trailer and give probably yourself a, give yourself do a little a, fluff. Do a what great, ladies, where, where you, you know. Give yourself oh, a great. Oh, I haven't looked in a mirror. Guys, I say A. What do you say? I say What did I just say? A. You have to say A. No, no, this guy, he's tremendously honest. <laughs> Finn, be honest Finn. with him. What do you think? A? Okay. It's like, you, I'm not talking. Talk. No. That's, that's, a, that's a sign that you're an A. If you were Thank a C minus, you'd be yapping the entire time you were but, here. But you know, summer festivals and these hot festivals, like yeah. where it's, I mean, it's what, in the oh, high it's, 80s, it's 90s? It's probably, probably low 90s right now. You which leave is nice. stage and you are nasty. Yeah. If you're doing your meet and greet after, like, I always am apologizing to people, like, because you're just running all around stage and you're dripping. So it's. It's awesome, but it's not. In your take, not in, in your case, you're glistening. Not, right. Not, not oh, dripping. right. Glistening. Ladies don't sweat. Exactly right. right. <laughs> Kelly Bannon, thank you. Come back to San thank Diego. Thank you so soon, much, okay? John. Have fun on stagecoach. Thank you. Right on.